age, but he's made quite a name for himself as a relationship and dating coach internationally. Get the Guy is the title of his New York Times bestseller. Matthew Hussey joins us to share some great ideas about sparking romance, keeping the flame alive. Do people say, wait a minute, you're, you're too young. How do, how do you know all this stuff? <laughs> uh, not so often anymore. No. Uh, they used to. I actually started doing this when I was 19. Okay. Um, but the one thing I've learned about people is just because you're older, it doesn't necessarily mean you're wiser. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, age equals experience, but experience doesn't necessarily lead to wisdom. Uh-huh. Okay. Especially in the dating world. <laughs> okay. uh, let's start off with a tip for a new relationship. If somebody's in a new relationship, what, what do you tell them to do? Well, I think the, for any new relationship, you have to focus on uh, actually c making sure that desire is a key factor in what you're doing, as well as getting to know each other. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we, we have this vision in relationships that we have to get to know each other as well as possible and almost become one. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem with that is we never create any space for ourselves anymore. Uh, and then we start spending all of our time together, we don't keep right. our own friends, our own hobbies, and we start to lose those mysterious qualities that make us fresh to each other. So what about those of us that have been in relationships for a long time? What do you tell those people about, you know, keeping the spark or the things that you should be doing in a relationship? Well, I think the, the, a big problem for people is they start sitting at home and watching Netflix together. Well, and like there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> well, there's, there's not actually, but it, it's everything in moderation. If, okay. I watch, if I sit at home and watch Netflix and stop going out, Right. That becomes a problem because in the beginning of a relationship, when you both get dressed up and look hot, mm -hmm. and then you go out and you watch other people look at your partner, suddenly you feel like, oh, I've got something pretty special here. Uh. I don't want to lose this person. <laughs> as soon as you stop that, you lose the desire that's created by seeing other people that are attracted to your partner. Uh -huh. So get dressed up, go out is basically the. Uh that yeah, but not just for the purposes of each other. I'm not just talking about private dinners. I'm talking about like going to social environments and, and watch your partner be desirable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it that people just have to know or want to know from you? What, what questions do you get the most? Um, the big questions I get usually are about why the guy didn't call after a date. <laughs> That's uh, because he doesn't like you. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, it, 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 I find that people don't express themselves enough on a date. They show one dimension of themselves. Oh, but interesting. It, to hold someone, we have to be multidimensional. Mm -hmm. So that's a key question I get. I get a lot of questions about texting. Uh, uh -huh. People want to know what to text the person that they're attracted oh, to, really? how often they should text, and all of those now, sorts of things. Now, my course. friends always say, where are these good guys? Where do you find them? What do you tell people who ask you something like that? Um, well, I, I think the question is not where they are, but how do I meet them? Because huh. most people, when they're out and about, they're never meeting the person at the coffee shop or right. in the health food store or on the street, wherever they are. They're waiting for Friday night to meet people, and that's why they're meeting people in their most drunken sleazy state not the best state <laughs> um, and they're you know they're meeting the wrong types of people so you have to be ready to meet guys okay in the morning and you, afternoon, you say time. confidence is key you have a text that you say that ev this is a guy a text that every guy wants to get it's you me tonight put your favorite show there pizza be there and basically you say because this exudes confidence right <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that losing a question mark in a text is a very sexy thing to do because as soon as someone acts more certain of themselves, mm -hmm. um, we want to be around them more. This is one of many, by the way, if, for people that want to get more of these texts. They're at ninetexts.com. Oh. They can go and find eight more of these that they can there you go. <laughs> copy and paste and send to a guy they're attracted okay, to. Okay, and your book is called Get the Guy. We'll put a, a link on our website to the book, fox4news.com. 